assalamu alaikum everyone uh, we did the multi use the multi seven the multi seven software doing the series and the parallel circuit and the combination now we are moving to the basic logic gates using multi seven logic gates is basically used when you have certain operations to perform within the limits that certain thing needs to operate only when i want it to get it to operate this is when the logic gates come into play so logic gates is basically how you want the output to be opened uh, should, should run or should not run on certain logic it should run and in certain logic it should not run so for that we'll be using three different basic gates for our to, for today's tutorial one is the and gate the other is the or gate and the last one is the not gate and gate is basically the multiplication of the two of the two inputs so the gate name is and the symbol is like d so table means that the output y is here is output a and b is the input it means the y is only high which is one when both the inputs are high with the boolean expression you see y is equals to a dot b this means only when the input or both the inputs are high y will only be high in that way and it would not be high in any other case and the 74 uh, the ic name for the and is 7408 and it contains four different and gates so in one ic you get four and gates on which you can perform your or task whatever you want so today what i'm implementing is the truth table of the and gate on the multi sim software and then you need to do the remaining two which is the or gate and the and or not gate and let and tell me whether you are able to do this or not okay so i will just follow the instructions and uh, and you'll be able to complete this go to the multi sim software go to place uh one thing i want to do is just take the screen snapshot of the truth table of the and so that we don't want to go or go and for fro just place it here this is the truth table for the and gate you go to place components we write here and and put it here okay the second thing that we need is the source vcc to make our output one so this is your vcc we need ground so that we want to make it zero so we have ground and we need two switches spdt switch this is because so that we can change the state of our inputs from zero to one and from zero one to zero the last thing that we need is a probe so that we can see whether our output is working fine or not. this is how it is so all the components are here First is your AND gate, the two switches, the VCC and ground, and the probe. VCC is used for one to make the input one. Ground is used to make the input zero. Switches are used to change the state from one and zero. This is the AND gate that will perform the function. The probe output uh, is used so that we can see whether our output is working fine or not. Now, how we will change the see the connections? We we'll make the connections. Is right click on it, rotate uh, counterclockwise. Right click on it and rotate counterclockwise. Here again, rotate counterclockwise and rotate counterclockwise. Move this a little here and move your ground also here so that you have. Now you can change S1 name to A and double click on the go to labels and change the S1 to B. Okay, so this is your A input, this is your B input. Now, what you need to do is connect the VCC first with this one. one and connect the VCC with the V also, B also, so that you need, to, because you need A also one and B also one. Similarly, connect this one with the ground and connect this one with the ground. So you have connected both with the VCC and both with the ground. Now just simply connect this switch with the AND gate here and connect this output with the PRO. So you make the connections perfectly fine everything's fine now what we need to do we put it into state in a b a b first is a is zero and b is zero so look this a and this is connected with the ground terminal a is connected with, which, means, which means this is zero 
Similarly, B, this is also connected with the ground terminal, which means both A and B are at zero state right now. We run the simulation, we run the simulation, output is not glowing. And by the truth table, you can see Y is zero, output will not glow. Now, the second state is we need to change the uh, input of the B only, not with A. B is one. So we just click it here and it changes the state. It goes to one and still your output is not glowing. And it has to be like this. Now we need to change the state of B to zero and A to one. So if I, this is to zero and click here, it becomes one. Still the output is not glowing. So this means working perfectly fine. Now what is A and B? A both needs to be one. So the A is already one. I just connect B with the five volt and here is your output that glows. So this means that and logic only works when both the inputs are high and not when either of the input is high, which means uh, only when both A and B is high, that is only when the AND state will work, will work, otherwise it will not work. Now, what I want you to do is follow the instructions and do this OR gate. The only thing that you need to change is change the IC of AND with OR. What I'm saying is, you go to place component, so I need to stop the simulation. Place component, and here is just write or okay. Choose this one and just replace the end with the or. Everything remains the same. Follow the truth table and see whether you are able to do this or not. For the not gate, not gate is basically the inverter. Inverter means it will change the input. Whatever the input is, uh, is, uh, is the output would be the opposite of it, which means if the input is zero, the output would be one. If the input is one, then the output would be zero. This is what the inverter does. And the IC name is 7404 and name is not, it's called a not gate. So I hope you can do the remaining OR gate and the NOT gate using this uh, tutorial. And let me know if you have any queries. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.